Hello, my name is Rainer Hanekamp. This is Engine News with the latest updates from the Angular community every week. Alex Rickerbo, Angular tech lead, was guest for a short session at TechStack Nation. He demonstrated a reset pattern for signals. Now imagine two groups of signals, one group representing the parents and another one the children. Now what we want to achieve is that if one of the parent signal changes, that the children's signals are reset, whereas when a child signal changes, nothing happens to the parent signals. Alex's approach was to combine a computed with nested signals. We could have achieved the same thing by using the effect function. Would have been more intuitive and also more readable. So what's the underlying issue? And that means that if I if somewhere else in the component I'm like, oh, you know, like options set to a new array of options, like time passes before the effect runs and then like the effect does index dot set to negative one. So there's a period of time where the options have changed, but the index is still showing the old value because the effect hasn't had a chance to synchronize them yet. The syntax for this pattern requires some time to get used to. According to Pavel Koslovsky, another member of the Angular team, there is a chance that we get a fourth function for the signals, which builds around this pattern. And that's it. Wishing you a nice weekend. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.